ways rural communities in Texas were created by the railroad. If you look at the creation of small towns, particularly in western Texas around uh, San Antonio, they were pretty much all created by the railroad, uh, particularly to the west. Before the railroads came, the most westerly inhabited part of uh, in Texas was Castroville. And then as the railroad built west, um, every single town was created. So Hondo and Uvalde and Del Rio, they were all created by the railroad. Just as many small communities in the West were isolated by the harsh terrain, for decades Nacogdoches was isolated by the tall pines, causing the city to dwindle to only several hundred residents. Very often, the railroad created a water supply. When they created a water supply and a depot, farmers started bringing their cattle in towards the water supply, so when their cattle was being shipped, they had something to drink. With their, if you had a cattle pen, you needed cattle feed, so a cattle feed store would open, and very often the post office would open up within the cattle feed store. If you've got people coming into town, you need to feed them and you need to lodge them, so a little inn would open up. And then if you've got people starting to create services and they're living there, a school would open up and then a church would open up, and before you know it, you'd have a small town. And that's how a great many towns in Texas were started. On November 1st, 1883, all of that changed as the HEWT would blow its whistle in front of the new depot. The massive stands of virgin pines suddenly became an asset, which many businessmen sought to take advantage of. As it now had a seemingly endless export, people had a reason to move to Nacogdoches.